The GameCube was a truly weird console. With that being said, this console was my childhood and had some of the best games I've ever played on it. Hit titles like Super Smash Bros. Melee, Legend of Zelda Wind Waker, Mario Kart Double Dash, Super Mario Sunshine, and Luigi's Mansion were all staples of my childhood. Codenamed Dolphin, the GameCube was kept a mystery from the world for a year after being announced until we finally got the reveal at Nintendo Space World 2000. And man, the reveal was weird. The stage had a box being revealed and rotated, then inside of it, a bunch of girls that look like the next hit K-pop group appear. And would you look at that, they're all holding a GameCube. The launch was definitely weird, but what was even more striking was the look of the console itself. It was literally a cube. And look, it got a cute little handle on it. Now, in my opinion, this thing is effing dope. The cube shape designed to show the pure power of this console and the handle for easy traveling convenience. I like to think Nintendo just imagined everybody walking around with a GameCube in their hands, and then people would be like, yo, is that the new GameCube? And then they just start playing Smash Bros or something. And come on, that's kind of awesome. Now, this console was no measly little device. Yeah, this bad boy had an IBM Gecko processor with a whole 485 megahertz, which by today's standards, that's pretty terrible. And so long were the days of pixel-like quality and hello to 480p quality. Okay, now hear me out. At the time, this thing was actually pretty powerful, which I mean by today's standards for Nintendo, this was pretty uncommon. From this moment, I think everybody realized that Nintendo was doing something really unique with the GameCube. And that's what we're here to talk about, the advertising. Nintendo went all out with this launch campaign, a launch campaign of $75 million, by the way. This was a full on out multimedia marketing campaign to truly bring potential fans in for the GameCube. Now, I grew up with the GameCube already being a staple in my house. I never saw the original advertisements and commercials because by the time I was old enough to understand how to hold the controller, Nintendo was probably regretting all of their marketing decisions. Now, I want to start off by showing this ad I really love and I don't think a lot of people have seen, and then we'll get to the much weirder ad shortly. Now, the video quality is pretty doo doo because this was back in 2004, but this was the Nintendo Schools Out commercial. So it starts off pretty peaceful, a bunch of Japanese kids in class getting a good old education with some nice enjoyable music in the background. We see a kid look at the clock just waiting until the second class is over and then the clock hits 12. The kids ditch class and just leave the teacher in pure shock. Yeah, also that kid tying his shoe? Yeah, yeah I think he died. So all of these kids are running like crazy, doing flips and jumping, all going in the same direction. There are so many kids, it gets to the point where they jump in the sewers to save space. Not only that, but the music just straight up bumps up. It's, oh, it's getting pretty good. Oh my God, the kids are on top of the train. This dude is living Mirror's Edge in real life. This kid just got hit by a bus and then keeps fucking going? What the fuck? And guess what? They all arrive at their destination for us to find out it's a Nintendo store. Let me remind you, a kid got hit by a bus for this. And then for some reason, they all have Mario heads, which was kind of weird, but it's, it's pretty funny. It ends with the text, Who Are You?, which was a part of Nintendo's Who Are You campaign made to promote their various characters and games. Now this ad, as funny as it was, was pretty tame. Nothing really wrong with it, and actually I thought it was pretty cool. I give this one a solid thumbs up. Now this is only scratching the surface because the next GameCube ad is actually really damn weird and kind of creepy actually. Now one thing you're gonna notice is how different these ads are compared to today's Nintendo ads. Nintendo ads for the Switch and Wii U and whatnot are very safe. Simple ads, very family friendly, usually showing people playing a Nintendo game and occasionally throwing in a celebrity here and there. Frankly, they're kind of boring. And when I say the GameCube was very different with its marketing, I mean it. Now this ad isn't my favorite GameCube ad. I'll show you that one shortly, but this one without a doubt is one of the weirdest and creepiest. This is the What A Rush GameCube ad. Let's play it. Okay, okay, okay. Let me just pause here. We've seen about six seconds worth of this ad and some guy is sweating, choking on what looks like a cube. A couple of games are shown for like a millisecond and now we see this dude's heart pulsating. This does not look like a Nintendo ad. And yet here we are, let's continue. Bro, what is this? I played this ad for five seconds and now we just see this dude's brain and a weird cube shape just sticking out of it. I feel like I'm gonna get demonetized for showing this. Okay, we're almost there, let's keep going. Well, 
I'm scarred for life. Yeah, that was one of Nintendo's official GameCube advertisements. So there's some things I like about this one and some things I really don't. First off, I like some of these shots. The trippy visuals are actually kind of cool in my opinion, especially the shot of this dude's pupil shaped like a cube. The music is intense, so it'll definitely catch your attention, but man, this ad is just uncomfortable. The ad showing this guy's heart and brain was a really weird choice, but it's a, it's a definitely a memorable ad. I'll give this one a thumbs up still. Eh, seven out of 10. Okay, I got one more ad to show you. This one being my favorite of the bunch. It was the GameCube main launch commercial and it's without a doubt one of the most iconic ones in my opinion let's play it so right off the bat we get this weird alternative music playing in the background while this guy is watching these two samurai fight inside of a cube the shot switches straight to this goth girl with what looks like the same cube but worn as a necklace now this old guy is eating soup pretty normal it's not like the cube is on the table with a guy nearly naked trapped inside of it we got some dudes chilling in the car and pass some pikmin in the same cube and now this guy is watching this guy in the cube and now he's inside the cube what what is going on the cube is shown again in various other shots until we get to this one with the guy just sitting inside of the cube. And boom, we see his perspective of being in the cube, showing off all the different GameCube games. And it ends with the slogan, Life's a Game. Yeah, that was a weird ad. Thankfully, this one was not as uncomfortable as the previous ad, but it was definitely a bit unsettling still. But I don't know, it's it's kind of cool. Now, there's a Luigi's Mansion version of this ad I'll show real quick too. Same goth girl, but this dude is getting oddly close to her and then getting scared by the cube, and then boom, it shows off Luigi's Mansion. You've got one night to save Mario from the supernatural. This game will scare you silly. Luigi's Mansion, only on Nintendo GameCube. I also like this guy's accent. That one is kind of cool too. This was the cube launch campaign from Nintendo and yeah, it, it was it was truly something else. Now the concept of the cube is really cool to me. Just seeing these visually interesting shots of people in the cube is really eye catching to me. It's definitely weird, but it is, I don't know, it's interesting. And then the rotating shots of the gameplay footage in the cube just puts it all together for me. Cool ad, I like, thumbs up. If these ads show anything, it's honestly how weird the GameCube's history is. This was the early days of Nintendo and the video game market was different as a whole back then. But I also think this was a really cool era of Nintendo and it's not only the ads that reflect that. This era of Nintendo was truly ambitious and a creatively different era for them. Their games were more ambitious and not really afraid to think outside the box for these titles and that's what makes the GameCube as a whole so special for me. Now Nintendo has recently recovered from the struggle of the Wii U days where they basically tried to target kids way too much and Nintendo branded their image as truly the console for little babies. But I think they made progress with the Switch. Their demographic is more inclusive for older gamers to get. And while I don't think we're gonna see any GameCube styled ads anytime soon, just gotta at least they're not Wii U ads. All right, well, that's the video. I'll, I will see you next uh, bi week. I'm trying to upload bi weekly, or you can chat now in the Discord link in description. Uh, but anyway, thank you for watching. Uh, adios.